Train the muscles, not the joints. Welcome back to Natural Glam Bodybuilding, and today I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about what is harder on the body. Lighter weight with lots of reps to failure, of course, or heavier weight to failure, which is gonna be less reps, right? So you're basically moving less, but you're putting a lot more tension on the muscles, ligaments, and tendons. So what I'm gonna say is that the correct answer is probably going to be dependent on where your weak link is in your body. But what I found for myself is that heavier weight is harder on the body, the immune system, and the connective tissue. So for this reason, I find that you can burn out from using heavier weight to failure, of course, like you're really going to failure on the heavier weight, than you will with lighter weights for the most part, because lighter weights are easier on the tendons, easier on the ligaments and, and uh, the insertion points and stuff. And these denser tissues of the body have a limited blood supply, so they do not heal as fast as muscles. Do you understand what I'm saying? Bones, tendons, ligaments, and uh, cartilage does not heal as fast, and heavier weight, there is no denying that heavier weight is harder on these tissues, therefore, heavier weight is harder on the system. Not to mention, it's harder on the nervous system because the nervous system has to fire much more powerfully in order to fire everything at once and all the fast twitch fibers at once and all the motor units that are in the muscles at once. It has to fire all of them in order to accomplish the reps. Where with endurance weight or with higher reps, you do not have to fire the muscles as powerfully. You're just firing them over and over again. And yes, you're getting an intense burn and yes, it hurts like hell, but you are not necessarily firing the muscles in the same intensity, right? That's why it's called intensity. Heavier weight is called increased intensity for this reason. It's more intense. So when you're using lighter weights, this can also burn you out for sure. Like lighter weights can also burn you out, but it'll burn you out from the energetic pathway, you know, from the enzymes as far as how much production of energy your body produces out of digesting food and that sort of thing. So there's no doubt that there can be a lactic acid sort of issue and a energy production issue where your muscles are no longer getting a pump. It's almost like they've burned out all the glycogen in the muscle. This can be fixed from eating more food and of course resting, but at the same time, it's a different type of burnout. So I find people like to say one is worse than the other, but it depends on what your weak link is that will dictate which one burns you out faster. You know what I'm saying? So that's another reason why I find mixing up the rep ranges very important and that's why I do that in my workout programs because you'll find that when you're burning out in one pathway then you can train in the other pathway and you're giving this one a break while you're training this one and then when you start to burn out here then you kind of go back to this you know what I'm saying so it's like juggling your recovery you're basically using the optimal recovery in each system at any one time so that way you're not overloading just one system right you only need to flick a switch once, right? So once you flick that adaptation switch for the fast switch fibers, you don't need to continually flick it. There's a period of time where it's already switched to on, and then as your body's recovering and gaining muscle and, and recovering in that way, then you move on to flicking another switch of hypertrophy using the endurance fibers or the strength endurance fiber muscles and the rep ranges associated with those muscles, right? So going back and forth you're going to notice that one will burn you out more than the other me i find the heavyweight burns me out more as far as the overall system and the tissues and the tendons and ligaments and the immune system i find the immune system also gets more burned out from doing heavy heavy squats as opposed to doing lighter rep, rep squats or endurance work right so that's what i found it might be different for you but that's really my experience i'm sharing with you um Feel free for your experience to be different, but that's that's really all I can say is just, I can share my experience with you, you know what I'm saying? There's always somebody in the comments that gets mad because I don't have the exact same experience as them, even though they've probably been training two months and they somehow are surprised when my experience is different. I, I don't quite get it, but, but the bottom line is you're free to have your own experience and that's what this channel is all about is for you to deepen your own experience and find out what is true for you. Don't worry about if what's what I'm saying is not exactly accurate for you yet. Who knows, right? Just be open to it. Just experience life and see what it shows to you. Huh? Experience it. Mountain. Anyway, I hope this helps out in your training. Thanks a lot for watching. If you need to get a hold of me, just go to naturallampbodybuilding.com and thanks to the patient supporters and take care for now. Mountain. Mountain.